On August 24, 1814, the United States of America was humiliated more than any other time in history. More than 4,000 British soldiers marched into Washington, D.C. In a matter of hours, they burned the Capitol and most other public buildings. With the Capitol in ruins, the president in hiding, and most of the army in retreat, America faced a difficult choice. Surrender to despair or find a source of strength and hope. Congressman John Randolph of Roanoke, Virginia. Peace or war, the ruin of this country is inevitable. His good friend, Francis Scott Key, disagreed. As he later explained, We are responsible for the most sacred of trusts to our country, to the world, to our God. Three weeks later, the British surrounded the city of Baltimore in preparation for the destruction of one of America's most important commercial centers. Now a captive of the British, Francis Scott Key held on to hope as he wrote the words that were to become our national anthem. In the rocket's red glare, bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Three months later, the war ended and America gained a voice for the spirit of optimism that was to define the nation for centuries to come. And if Francis Scott Key were alive today, he would almost certainly ask, Does that star-spangled banner yet wave? Or the land of the free and the home of the brave?